Adventure and Pumpkin on W four C Y Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. She's gonna take you and keep you, build you up to break through, forsake you. Promise of lycanthropy, Jekyll Hyde philosophy, slave her. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Patrick Allen Stone of Butterside. Nice. Yes. Again. again. Here we meet again. Yes, we're becoming very close, you and I. I know. You keep following me from festival to festival. What's up with that? Because you're my professional anal bleacher. All right. Now, <laughs> there we go. Have you done some butt sunning here at Aftershock? We're looking forward to it. No, my God. I promise. We were, I went right for the jugular, man. You did. You went, These are jokes, kids. These I are jokes. I tried to keep These it. These are jokes. I tried to keep it a certain way, and you just went for it anyway. You know, well, we're not, you know, with a name like Butterside, how can we be serious, you know? Yeah. We, we I'm, need... I mean, with Butterside, you know what I think of? I think of butter in the butthole. Yeah. It's a good thing, right? Yeah. It's like easier that way. I know, right? Yeah. That's what you guys were thinking when you named the band, right? I was out of my mind, to be honest. When we named the band, I was out of my mind. And then it just kind of stuck. And then you tour three times around the world. Lemmy signs you to his label and you say, I want to change the name. And he says, no, I like Butterside. You say, well, if it's good enough for Lemmy, it's good enough for us. So no, you're going to argue with Lemmy, really? No. I mean, come on. No. <laughs> you know, it was funny. I saw a picture of Lemmy with one of his girlfriends yeah. back in the day. Yeah. And it reminded me of how many people don't even know the person he was girlfriends with who is iconic. So I'm just going to give you one hint, and I'm going to see if you know who it was. She used to do shows on stage where she wore nothing on her top except shaving cream yeah. And then would get arrested like Jim Morrison because the lights would melt the shaving cream off and then they'd come arrest her for obscene. Yes. You know who it is? Yeah. Go. Tell me. I forgot her name, though. Oh. She was in, uh, just give me the first letter. W. Yeah, Wendy O, right? Yep. Yes. Wendy O. Williams. From, and yeah, she actually inspired good friends of mine, the Butcher Babies, to come out with their it's, the tape on the tits and all of that. You know what I mean? Well, you know what else? It's funny you say that because the first time I interviewed the Butcher Babies, I said something about you named it after the Plasmatic song, yeah. didn't you? Yes. And I met, you know me, I don't talk about band names. Yeah. And they were so impressed. Yeah. Because a lot of people didn't know, figure that out, put that two and two together. Yeah. Yeah, Lemmy, was, Lemmy didn't mess around, man. He's, he had some high-rolling girls, you know, uh, all the time. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. Like, I hung with him at the Rainbow, and I was just happy. I was a teenager. I was happy to get his overflow. <laughs> exactly, right? His overflow were still the best-looking women. Yep. You know? Uh, the true, consummate rock star. Yeah. Just like you. Authenticity, man. It's got a way of sticking to people that are cool, you know? There it is. And, yeah. and so for you, is that what it's like for you, with, you know, for getting into music and making music now, is so it the same thing for you? You're just all about the music. You know, um, I try every day, and I should, you know, it's like praying to God almost. I, I try to, and I should ask for that more from the universe to just be more like Lemmy all the time. It's difficult because he was the God of gods, you know what I mean? He was in a world where you just get in the van and you just never came home until they were at a certain level where it was, beyond his control you yeah. know and now it's like there's just so many ways to go about climbing up the ladder and some people fly up and you know i've been lucky enough to take it really slow so definitely a man of integrity i definitely learned that from him you know just be as honest as you possibly can and you know i still believe that's going to pay off in the long run it will sure. pay off for sure and yeah. so what else you got going on after aftershock that we need to tell people about well, we just released the record, White Flame. There's four tracks on that that haven't really gotten the light of day like they deserve, so I'll probably put some videos or serious content around those last four before breaking into next year where we're looking to 
really tour hard. 2025, nice. we want to tour that album as hard as we can. Nice. Yeah. And so how's this new music? How do you feel it represents how you've evolved as a musician? I think it's, I mean, it's the perfect way to demonstrate exactly who I am to anyone. If you want to know me, you listen to that music. And the last four songs especially, they really just, I waited till the last minute. I wrote a song a day. We recorded that so the, the one song per day in four days. So the last four songs were written on the spot. The lyrics hadn't been written until I got into the studio, I love which that. I love that technique because, it, you know, you got to pick the topic and then you don't have time to screw around and try to make it sound pretty. You just spit it out as honestly as you can. Which is the best way. It's the best way. Yeah, because then you listen back and whoa, did you just hear what I said? And uh, it makes sense, <laughs> you know? I, th I think you have to go off the playbook, man. That's yeah. what it's about. It's just like with what I do. It's like, you know, interviews take a life of their own. If you're sitting there with a script, that's not interesting. And you don't get that gold. Right. And I think it's the same with writing music. You're not going to get that gold if you're so focused on making it gold. Yeah. Just let it be you. Exactly. Yeah. You're the artist. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely not writing for the approval of others. We definitely do it for ourselves. And I'm just blessed to have, I think, the most talented musicians in the world in the band. So that definitely puts the heat on, you know, how good I can be. Yeah. You know, I've got to rise to the occasion. So... Yeah, and my guys are happy with what I do. I'm so happy with, with what they do. And the overall album is just a proof. It's the best. It is the best. And how does everybody check it out? Check you guys out. And tell them all your socials, everything, how they get the new if music. If you spell the name stuff. right, nobody else is crazy enough to spell it that way or say it that way. So we are Butterside. B-U-D-D-E-R-S-I-D-E. Butterside.com. Butterside on Instagram. Butterside on Facebook. All that stuff. Find us. Reach out. We're right there for you. Well, you rock. I'm glad you're here at Aftershock, and always a pleasure. Dean, thanks, brother. You got it. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio. Radio.